Hey everyone, Nick here from MacTutsPlus.com, and today I'm going to be showing you guys an overview of iPhoto. So iPhoto is a built is a program that comes built in onto your Mac. It's for photo organizing and some editing too. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do, I'm going to show you guys, is the Info tab. That's a really cool feature in iPhoto. So if I click a photo and come over here and click Info down there, this uh, sidebar comes up and it shows me all of the feature, all the uh, info about my photo. So it tells me what camera it was taken with, what my flash setting was, I have my flash set to on. It'll tell me my shutter speed, aperture, exposure compensation, focal length, ISO, and then my dimensions, the, f the file size, and even the file type. So that's pretty cool right there. Also iPhoto's got a uh, star system that you can use to search your things. So if I rate this four stars, I can come down here to my search and type in four asterisks. And it'll show me all photos that have that rating with them. So that's a pretty cool way to organize your photos. Down here under the assign a place area, I can type in a place where I took the photo at. So I took this at Bush Stadium, and it'll locate the area with Google Maps. Now if I assign more photos to that same area, it would show me all photos that I took at that area. So that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of iPhoto's editing features now. So I'll double click this photo to bring it up and click the edit tab down here. So now in place of our info bar we have the edit bar. So under here you got quick fixes, you can rotate the photo, enhance it which will bump up the uh, contrast and fix the coloring in it. Fix red eye, that's a tool that you can use to uh, fix the uh, red eyes that you get if you're using a point and shoot camera. You can straighten it, crop it, or retouch it. Under here you've also got effects. You've got, you can lighten up your photo, you can darken it, you can use contrast, saturate it. I'm going to revert mine to original. You've also got these uh, warmer and cooler tints. Now these are pretty nice. I can add some warmth to my photo, make it look like it was a cold day out. It's a pretty nice effect right there. Then you've got also your standard set of effects here, black and white, uh, antique, and all those. Now under our adjust panel, we've got some more uh, more advanced features here. If you're a Photoshop user, this will all look pretty familiar to you. You've got your exposure, your contrast, saturation, definition, highlights, shadows, sharpness, and denoise. Then you can also change the temperature, like with the um, the two buttons that you just saw a second ago, or you can change the tint of the photo. So those are some really great editing features right there. So now the next thing we're going to look at here is the Create tab down here. So if I go back to my photos, and I see a, um, okay, so say I like this image. I'll click my Create tab, and I can create uh, a book, a card, a calendar, or a slideshow. If I had more than one photo selected, I could create an album out of it. Say I want to create a, a greeting card. So this opens up. And now what we're going to do here is you can design your uh, greeting card from scratch, then you can order them from Apple. And Apple will take your photo, they'll put them on the cards, uh, the pressed cards or whatever you ordered, and they'll send them over to you and you can edit them. So uh, I, click I click create here, it tells you the price, the size, and so then you can edit all the text on here. This becomes basically a text editor. So you can change all your text down here to whatever you want it, your, um, your uh, card to say, if you decide you want a different one, you can go back to change theme. And you can change, choose from letterpress, folded cards, flat cards. And so that's how uh, this works. It's pretty neat. So now I can press cancel to go back. Once you got it all the way you want it set up, you can press buy card. And then this has created a new uh, bar over here on our left called projects and then it tells me the date of it. I could rename that. So let's go back to photos. Next thing we're going to look at here is the share feature. So I could click a photo, click share, and I could then share it to Flickr, Facebook, email, or I could order prints from it. So again, you bring this up, Apple will, um, you can order your prints from Apple, they'll get them set up in the sizes that you've ordered, and you can uh, just buy them right from iPhoto. Next thing we're going to be looking at is the Places feature in iPhoto. 
So here we've got Google Maps, it's been brought up when I clicked over here on the places on the sidebar. And so you see you got this pin right here. If I scroll over, it'll tell me where the photos were taken, Bush Stadium. So if I click this arrow right here, it'll show me all the photos that I've taken that I've marked at being shot at Bush Stadium. So now to add another photo to this area, I'll come over here to my photos, click this, bring up my info tab, and assign a place to it. So I can assign, so now I've assigned Missouri Botanical Gardens to the place that, that photo was taken. So if I come back over to my places section, you can see I've got two of the uh, marker pins there. And this one says Missouri Botanical Gardens. So I can click that and see all the photos I've taken there. All right, so that's my overview of iPhoto. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask in the comments below. Thanks for watching.